Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chosen Warrior here on to my Chosen Warrior main channel. Today we are going to review all of these Power Rangers figures. Uh, yes, I do have them um Power Rangers Legacy Collection. Well, Legacy Collection right there, Lightning Collection right there. So yeah, um, I'm going to review the Legacy Collection first and then I'm going to review both of these other villains. I was about to put like a Putty um, Patrol right there, but I already reviewed the Putty Patrol. So let us get right into this review. We're going to start off with the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Ranger, Blue, Black, um, Yellow, Pink, uh, Goldar, and then lastly we're going to start off with Lord Zed. Alright, let's go. So here we are with the Green Ranger. Go Green Ranger, by the way. Um, but yeah, he comes with like, he actually comes with four accessories, probably five if you count as this as an accessory. Comes with like, his dragon flute, the sword of darkness, this, and he also comes with some unchangeable hands, such as like the flute hands. I only have like one of them available, like right here. Um, there is the flute hands. I know you guys can't see it because of like the light. There's the hand right there. Focus, focus. I don't think this thing can focus that well. I'm using like, I'm not using like my good camera, I'm using like this camera that I got from the thrift store. But yeah, um, trust and believe me when I say this. The gold on this looks awesome. Let me turn on the flashlighting. But yeah, look at look at that. That is some good paint job right there. The lighting is actually weird on my camera, but here's a sword of darkness. It's not as detailed as like the lightning collection one, but as for what it is, I actually like this size of how it is. This is the correct size of how a sword of darkness should be on a Power Ranger. It shouldn't be that little tiny size. Not so, but here is the Dragon Dagger right here. Um, I would say this is a little bit more detailed than the Lightning Collection, but not as much. Oh, yeah, more gold right there on his armpits right here. On his arms, more gold. The back, more gold. Like, this gold color is awesome. Let me go on to, like, the articulation. He can do the splits. Round it. Round. Okay, anyway. He can do the splits. He can kick up right there. He can do this. Ankle pivot, of course. Uh, you can have his arm like up here, but this renders the articulation a little bit, so you can like move it right there. You can move his arm like this right here, um, his hand, and yeah, I'm not going to do the whole entire articulation to all the figures because they're all technically the same thing except for the female figures. The female figures, they're um, different. Let's go on and move on to the White Ranger. White Ranger Tiger Power White Ranger Tiger Okay anyway. Um here's the White Ranger right here. As you guys can see, that is some glossy. It's really reflective. Wow, I cannot believe how reflective that is. But like I said, the gold is awesome. I wish there was like the gold on like his helmet. No, you guys can actually see it that well. Um uh, maybe in like editing you guys can see it that well, but this is a very, very good detailed figure. Uh, I don't even think Lightning Collection had this type of gold. I'm not for sure because I never had the Lightning Collection White Ranger since I already have this one. I don't need like two other White Rangers. But um, that's too bright. Hold but here we go with like the sword. The sword is detailed too as well. Just the way I like it. I like how this is detailed. Just absolutely perfect. Same articulation except like this renders his articulation. So you can't have him when he's like doing like this. You can have him like probably like, in a cool looking pose. And probably like um right here. He's striking down. He's like, yeah, God, you know that stuff. So um he does have like this wrist level too. So um he has some good articulation, but the paint is very very good. I really love this paint so much. Let us move on to the Red Ranger. Say this again if you're confused of why I'm not doing articulation that much to all of them because they have like the same articulation but here's the Red Ranger um, I'm gonna shine a light on him there you go we can actually see that good amount of paint this is a metallic paint and like I got the metallic figures I haven't got like the original Mighty Morphin um, legacy figures because they have like the they have like the Megazord part but I do not want to pick him up because the Megazord part to me is a sound sign useless compared to actually having him with his sword. As you guys can see, far away his sword is good detailed right there. I know you guys can't see it. It's a bit bent, 
I wish like this can have like a stealth plastic better than having like a soft plastic. I wish it was like steel. Um, but I'm gonna turn off the light real quick. Alright, so with the light off, you guys can actually see the detail of the sword a little bit. It picks up. Um, but here's the light right here. You guys can see. Look at that. That is some good detail. Um, this is the wrong color of the sword. Let me take off the sword. This part does to be black, and I think this part does to be black too as well. But they have it all red. It's not like, it's just a nitpick, that's all, but they should actually have it black. But yeah, he has the same articulation. You can actually rotate this arm right here. So the ones without the armor, they can rotate their arms right here. You can do the splits. You can do all that other stuff. As the spin, there you go. Yeah. Um, he also has like a blaster right here. But the only difference that it's just on folded mode. It's not on blade mode. It's not on like gun mode. It's just on like the sleeve mode that they usually have. And sometimes it falls off. Like mine just falls off right there. Put that right there for you, buddy. There you go. Get your gun right there. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the Blue Ranger. Ranger that didn't get enough love. The Blue Ranger right here. Here we are. It's right here. We got his weapon. This is actually a unique weapon because it... I wish they had like two weapons for him. One with this, like this right here. And then another one where it like comes apart and he can like use it. Um, but I think this is... What is this called? Like Power Lance? Uh, yeah, that's what it's called, Power Lance. And, like, yeah, he does have the metallic paint. Of course, light on. Boom, there you go, there's the light on. As you guys can see, the detail of the helmet is actually good. I really love the detail of the helmet. Um, all the metallic paint for Billy, that's his name, um, in the show. Right there. He also has his gun, too, as well. Right there, you, you guys already saw this gun. His weapon is... I won't say anything bad to it, except... You see this part right here? This part should be gray. And I think like the other part should be like blue, I think. But yeah, this part should be gray. His um the handle part, but it's a fine figure, it's a good figure. Same articulation. Same all this other stuff. Yep. Move on to the Black Ranger. Black Ranger with all the moves and swag. That's this guy right here. So there he is. Look at that. It's still reflective. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, I must say, they actually did, like, a good job with the um, detail. Including, like, the helmet right here. I don't know if you guys can actually see it that well. But the helmet is good with detail, too, as well. Also, with the axe. This axe, you can actually have it with, like, a gun mode, too, as well. So, let's go ahead and put him in, like, the gun mode, too. Because he had to use that in the show. Hold on. I'm going to get it on camera. I'm not gonna actually pause it or fast forward or nothing. So I'm just gonna legit see this in camera. There you go. Boom. Gun mode. There you go. Now he has like his thing with the gun. Now they did have like the lightning collection of this, but I choose not to get it because I already have this one and there's no need for it. And besides, I don't have the Megazord. I wish I can actually review the Megazord to you guys, but I don't. But yeah. There's the Black Ranger for you. Alright, let's move on to our next Ranger. Here we go to Yellow Ranger. This is actually one of my favorite female figures, by the way. Silver articulation. Articulation. What, the, what in the world am I talking about? Articulation. Um, but yeah, here she is. Metallic pink, as always. Awesome, awesome. Um, her body kind of looks weird because like it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like all comic bookish like this. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but here's her weapons. I forgot what they call it, like power daggers or something like that. It called something. I probably have to uh, pull it right here. Power daggers. That's what they're called. Um, but yeah, she also has her gun too. I, I lost some of these guns, so I have to go in and reuse the guns. Um, they can hold their guns. Probably have to like show you guys what I'm talking about. So here, uh, and it comes apart, of course. This thing loves coming apart. The actual hold holster of it. There you go. See, they can hold their weapons, but it just looks looks kind of stupid because it's not even doing anything. So, um, sorry, that was my phone. Someone else texted me. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let me let's go to our articulation. She can actually rotate her arm like this compared to the um, male figures. The male figures can't do that. 
Um, anyone can actually do this one right here. Wrist swivel. Uh, she can actually do like the extra spin too. Um, her torso can't spin that much as for like the male figures. But I think if you actually do it like this, she can kind of do it. But I really not want to force it. So you guys should have both either. She can do the splits. She actually can do the splits like a good um, mount. Look at that. There you go. Um, she can do the splits right here. She also do this ankle pivot. So she actually good has some good articulation compared to the other female figures I did review on here. So let us move on to like the last ranger, the pink ranger. Here is the pink ranger right here. She has the same body build as not the yellow ranger, but as like the pink ranger Zio, the yellow ranger Zio. And I think the Yellow Ranger from Dino Thunder. So it's like the same thing. I don't need to go back to the articulation. But I may need to. Um, she actually looks nice. The dress looks nice too as well. This part right here. Um, it's a bit articulated. Not that much. I'll probably have to turn off the light. Alright there you go without the light. Um, I wish there was more detail with this. A whole lot. And I wish there was like a string too as well. But um, she does have her accessories. She has like this right here. This is an arrow kind of bent up I wish it was a still plastic but oh well and she also has this I cannot for the life of me can get her holding the arrow I, I can't I can't do that that's just uh, just too impossible for me but anyway her articulation is the same thing as the yellow ranger but except it's different she can also do this she can do this right here extra spin boom she can't twist her whole entire tor oh see that's why I don't like these blasters uh, she can't twist her own entire torso right here. She can actually rotate like that. Um, legs can't go way up because the dress is like hitting it. It really renders her and I wish that the Legacy won't have that. I wish like the this stuff right here, the plastic right here, can actually be soft. Better, compared to hard, I wish it can be soft. She can also do this right here. So the same articulation as the FEMA figures, but like I wish it can be better. I wish it can be a lot better. Now let's go for Godar. <laughs> so here is Godar with all his glory right here. He actually, he actually have like some good gold paint, but not a whole lot. Let me just shine a bright on him. Let me shine a bright on him. Shine a light on him. What is wrong with me? Anyway, um, here is the light right here. Look at that awesome bit of gold. I wish it was more golden though. Um, his face and they also have this right here. This is not Legacy. This is Lightning Collection by the way. They have like this effect too. That actually looks nice on like a light. Wow. Looks cool on camera compared to like how it is in real life. I know you guys can't see it because of the camera. But um here it is right here. Gold Dar. Very very nice figure. I, I was waiting for a Goldar figure for a long time and now they finally have him let me stop shining the light on him. but yeah he also has some hands he has like these two oh, oops. <laughs> my suit just go ahead and cut <laughs> um, he also have these hands right here this hand and a holding hand just in case you want him to hold the sword in the other hand because he does do that but let's go to his articulation so you can actually twist his whole entire torso around also, the wings that he has can rotate. You can actually fold them up right here if he's not um, flying. If he is flying, there you go. Shoot those suckers up right there. He can also, I think, he can only just twist his head like that. Twist his head like that. He can't do the extra um, twist. His torso can, but his head can. So he can actually do this. Do this. No, he can't do that. Um, the armor winners him where he can't stretch his arm way high the same thing like that he can't do the splits he can go in and kick his leg up like that knee and ankle pivot so that's a little bit good you know he don't have that much articulation but for a figure like this we've been waiting for it for a long time but I wish he can actually be taller than the Rangers I mean like a whole lot taller than the Rangers but that's Godar for you
Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-